morning. Uh, Skylar Baird here. I've been uh, looking at this article online about this billboard that I've recently seen. And the billboard says, Tomahawk to the Temple. Has a huge picture of LeBron James doing a big old dunk. I was wondering what this Tomahawk to the Temple meant. So I was talking to my friend about it the other day and he was like, yeah, 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 I saw this picture of Tomahawk to the Temple. I was driving to the temple. I wonder if that's portraying LeBron James doing a dunk to the temple so that it targets LDS people. It's like, no, nah, I don't think that it's targeting LDS people. I think they're just talking about LeBron James doing this sweet dunk. But I wanted to find out what other people were thinking about. This is what I found. I got some interesting things I want to read to you. Airballs and airguitar.blogspot.com and the other is socktheory.iheartsociology. Uh, I can't even believe what it said at the sociology theory. Let's start off with airballs and airguitars.blogspot.com. It's a billboard for Sprite. It features LeBron James dunking a basketball. For the non-hoop folks out there, this type of dunk is called a tomahawk jam. That's basically what I thought. Continue on. Not sure why. Maybe it's the swinging motion of the arm. It's like swinging a tomahawk. Maybe it's the straight and arm holding the ball that resembles the shape of a tomahawk. I don't know. Also, the reference to the temple is simply the reference to the body. He talks about how LDS temples, Latter-day Saint temples, are important in Utah. So he was thinking about it in that context. He read the billboard again. I wonder what throwing a tomahawk at a temple could mean. Is it talking about physically or symbolically vandalizing a temple? Is it speaking to Mormon and Native American relations? Not that there's much to say there. I had no clue. This all passed through my mind in a flash, right after. Once I passed, the whole thing came together in a sports context. It made sense of what it was supposed to do. Still, I'm sure there are non-basketball Mormons who are thoroughly confused by what the Sprite is trying to tell them to do. So if you see tomahawks thrust into temple doors, you'll know that advertising works. So this guy, he's pointing out that, yeah, it's a basketball ad, and ironically, it's in Utah, and there's a lot of temples in Utah. On the other hand, we got socktheory.iheartsociology.com. The page is entitled Racism in Ads. That's not an interesting way to start off with LeBron James dunking on a Sprite billboard. I don't know what is. This billboard, owned by Coca-Cola on the corner of Eagle Rock and Colorado Boulevard. I'm reading this in like a egotistical context because that's the way that I portray this writer. The text reads... Tomahawk to the temple, and shows a black man executing what looks like a slam dunk. A black man. Okay. Obviously, this writer has been living under a rock for the last few years. I looked online, and like the very first thing that came up was LeBron James, rated number two in 2011 for being the most famous sports person in the world, only behind David Beckham. A black man executing a dunk. How about LeBron James, the second most famous sports person in the world? Anyways, let's keep going. He must have something else good to say. In light of our recent discussions of race and racism in the media, this caught my eye. This ad uses the stereotype of a Native American tool to sell Sprite. A tomahawk. It's an all-purpose tool that is mainly known in the media as a weapon of choice for the Native American men. Using the word evokes an image of violent Native American men at war. This is a misrepresentation of that race, and using this controlling image in an ad furthers their subordination in American society. Again, I, I don't think that's what Sprite was trying to do, but let's keep going. Let's read. Furthermore, by combining the violent image that the word evokes with the actions of a black man insinuates the violence of black men. After slavery was made illegal, white people used images of violent black men to paint black men as savages who lost control while white without white supervision. They used these images to justify violence against black men that occurred during this time. While different today, these images are still seen on TV and in advertisements. The stereotypical violent black cop that is presently on many of today's TV shows is an example of how these images have changed 
but are still present. This billboard is another example of the same phenomenon. When one pictures a tomahawk to the temple, he or she is likely to think of an axe striking someone in the head. Combining this violent notion with a picture of a black man equates him to being a perpetrator of this violence. Once again, the black man is being painted as a savage and violent. What? Are you kidding me? I highly doubt that Sprite was saying that, yeah, we want to paint, a, in this ad, we're going to paint a picture of black men using tomahawks to kill people. That way people will buy Sprite. No, I'm pretty sure that's not what they were trying to do. Uh, the article continues. This billboard emphasizes the stereotypes of two races and equating them to violence. By perpetrating the controlling images of both Native American and black men, Coca-Cola is maintaining systems of oppression that serve to deny personhood of non-white Americans. Maybe I'm hitting on too deep of some political subjects here, but that is not what was going on here. Simply, Sprite is saying, hey, look at this cool dunk. Look at this cool million-dollar billboard that we paid LeBron James. Come drink some Sprite. They're not saying the black man are violent. They're not saying that you should throw tomahawks at temples. That's all I got to say. Peace, love, and gap.